four, three, two, one, go. Hey guys, Ranching here, bringing you all another stock of commentary. This is going to be the first semi-finals of the Big File MSL. Wow, getting along there. This is going to be a Pol Polaris Rhapsody. The first set, the upper left-hand corner in white. We're going to have Flash. The bottom right-hand corner in red. We're going to have Fantasy. Both, of course, Terran players. Arguably two of the best turn players in the world, especially if you're looking at their ELO rankings They are the best turn players in the world right now But this is I gotta say very very exciting now very daunting a task here a <laughs> a best of five TVT with two of the yeah the best TVT players in StarCraft this this could be insane. Uh, this will probably end up with me wanting to, you know, kill myself. But I'm looking forward to some really long, long-winded games that go on for an age and a half. Uh, but at the same time, I'm looking forward for some to looking forward to some creativity, to something different from these guys because they sometimes throw in something interesting. I don't expect every single game to be the yummy yummy stale nothing but dropships and tanks and goliaths out there but although I do expect some of that as well uh, but when it comes to these two guys you know never be surprised if something weird happens if something interesting happens so yeah we're looking forward to that um, not expecting too much cheese both these guys standard TV tiers although you know we might see some although I'm not really expecting it too much uh, more likely actually that it would come from Flash I think than Fantasy who's Flash right now just now putting his barracks um, haven't quite seen Fantasy put his own down so we're gonna see what actually goes for 14cc or not uh, Flash meanwhile looks like seems no never mind he's going for pretty much the same thing in Flash going barracks alongside refinery so it seems like both players do look like they're wanting to get uh, their factories up as soon as possible we're gonna see whether this is gonna be for uh, some early vulture mo vulture movement or uh, whether this is gonna be straight into tank and I might even see fantasy in particular may might go for some early dropship strategies try to get a drop into flash's main see whether he can abuse some positions there but I really like this map for TVT Polaris Rhapsody makes TVT extremely interesting because it's a different map it has these little things that uh, make a TVT player think a little bit outside the box because in TVTs you got these you got the main and your natural then you have the nine and three o'clock positions which are very fairly easy to hold both players now going for their initial factories we got the nine and three o'clock position which are both fairly easy to hold um, uh, with ground troops siege tanks can't really can just align themselves in there inside and on the outside and just shut down any forces trying to come in close and that also kind that defensive matrix can also be or not matrix but defensive zone can also be lengthened to include the inside nine and inside three o'clock positions to protect them from enemy attack but those nine and three o'clock positions if not defended well enough by turrets and such can be significantly vulnerable to uh, drops. You know, Flash apparently has a yeah hidden an SCV inside of uh, Fantasy's main, just kind of hoping the Fantasy doesn't know about it. Just now, reveals that SCV to get in there, get the full scout, see what's going on. Spot that factory on the way. Spot where they're also going on. Seems like Fantasy Mill gonna just put down his expansion. Uh, probably gonna see Flash do exactly the same, and the SCV of Flash is just not gonna escape with his life. Well, both players actually doing pretty much exactly the same thing: floating their barracks off, having that initial marine to force away the SCVs. One factory expanse. We're probably not going to be seeing any, uh, any early aggression. Uh, we're going to see whether we see a vulture from both of the players. It does seem like we're going to see an initial vulture right into Machine Shop Flash, just two, a second or two ahead of Fantasy in this case. But let's see. Flash actually yeah has a vulture and a marine. Both players just have a vulture and marine just for defensive pur purposes. Nothing really on my shelves. Probably going to see additional factories on the way just now as well. And with that machine shop in there, I'm just going to be starting to see some tank production and very standard play, just off ground builds. And uh, looks like any any transition, any odd transitions, any funky stuff will happen later on in the game. So we're not going to be seeing that anything early on, but we might be seeing some funky play. It does seem like we're just going to have standard to start things off, two base play. So it's going to be interesting to see where. Uh, these two guys are going to want to expand off of this because you have the option of sticking to your side of the map to basically in fantasy's case stick to the south and flash's case sticks sticks to the north 
basically take the 12 o'clock mineral only and then transition to the uh, for flash the upper right hand position which has a double gas and flashes lower left or fantasies I'm sorry lower left hand which also has a double gas or you might transition into this little box that's kind of become standard for some turn players take the inside uh, take the side positions the inside and uh, the inside bases and then take the gas bases which are protected by some uh, walls which are fairly easy to defend against ground attacks although might become vulnerable to some air uh, to some aerial drops it's going to be very interesting to see exactly how that goes third factory is on the way for both players so it does seem like very standard play so far for both of them not really expecting anything wacky just a few vultures out there protecting the zone still don't see a single uh, still don't see a single tank out there i was actually thinking might might, might be seeing some transitions into, into early tanks I've seen seen you know a couple of tanks can defend against vultures pretty well just fight them back but it seems like we're just going to see some early vulture play uh, with some early speed to start things off both players actually really enjoy this uh, fantasy well known for a as a very good vulture player as a player who really likes to utilize his vultures while while flash um, has often liked to start uh, TVTs with vulture openings so we're just going to be seeing that kind of stuff going on here I warn you right now that this series you should be expecting some uh, random babbling and stuff like that. TVT is the matchup in StarCraft that I have the least understanding of, and I'm not at all shy in admitting that because sometimes there's so much, there's stuff happening. It's like a funky little chess match, and I'm no good at chess. So I'm just kind of sitting there going, uh huh, and uh, Rook goes there and taking this position, and this is some sort of defense, I'm sure, which I don't know what it's called. So whatever. Fantasy going on, planting some mines, and of course these are not going to do anything against vultures, but is at least giving him, uh, if nothing else, it's going to give him some vision against his enemy's vultures. He's just not starting to hide some machine traps, so we are going to be seeing some tanks. Not too heavy in the vulture numbers, but does seem like they're going to go all the way to at least a control group and just kind of like run around, see if they can find any positionings, any openings to abuse. And uh, early on, I don't think the vultures, unless there's going to be a break in position, I don't really think that the vulture is going to come too heavily into play this uh, this early on. And it does seem like Flash doesn't have as many machine shops up as Fantasy. It seems like Fantasy is just going to rush into tank production a little bit earlier. It has an army coming up, and we might be seeing some differential in builds finally coming into play. We're going to see whether, whether uh, Flash actually sticks here. He is going to be expanding to the 12, so that would explain the lack of a second machine shop. He's getting his army up as well, but he's just now working on that uh, additional base at the 12 o'clock. Looks like he is going to stick to the to the north, most likely going to transition to the upper right hand as he goes off. Has siege tank ready for uh, siege tank ready for his tanks. He's going to utilize that to defend himself. And of course has his tanks close enough that he can fire to the on the bridge in case Fantasy decides to cross it. But Fantasy is smart enough going for the right side flank. Uh, going to see if he can find himself an entry towards that north o'clock base. Has three tanks in there. Should have siege tech ready at this point and some vultures. And then we're going to see what actually tries to go in and engage. you got to be careful in that. I think Flash still doesn't have mines on these vultures though. So they can't really come in and surround again any of that. Doesn't even seem like he's upgrading mines as we speak. And we're going to be seeing Fantasy actually going to go in here for the front with his vultures. Just going to pick up a marine. The gen's going to fly. Uh, yeah. Just hover back home. Uh, didn't really do too much there except pick off a marine. And has cancelled his aggression on the total clock position. A lot of vultures doesn't want to get himself so rounded, gives him a bad position, doesn't want to unfortunately uh, accidentally leave his tanks out in the open to become the victim of victims of his opponents. Flash with his fixed fifth barracks and second machine shop on the way. Both players with armies at this point, so we're gonna be seeing some upgrades and traditions. Fantasy Mill is gonna go for an attack here. Flash over three C shanks at the back. Fantasy with more though, moving in close. We're gonna see who actually managed to do this. Flash has a little bit of a split, but nice line here from Fantasy. Uh, despite his uh, much fewer vultures with those siege tanks doing the damage, uh, he can really can utilize it. Well, did scan in. Now moving in closer. Vultures at the front. Flash with a lot more vultures. We're gonna, be, we're gonna see whether this actually will be enough to fight Fantasy back in this case. Fantasy, meanwhile, looks like he's holding his siege tank still staying in place. Finding back with the vultures as well. Unseizing again. We're gonna be seeing whether they're actually gonna move back at this point. Trying to move in closer. Is gonna move in closer. Getting scanned as he does that, but he's gonna be able to take out the last siege tank off flashes. Also has enough vultures in there to try to fight this back. Unfortunately, getting surrounded, trying to support with his own vultures. It does seem like it's gonna come out significantly ahead. A lot of damage now. The Trocock position is gonna be significantly vulnerable. Flash gonna pull all his SCVs off the line. Fantasy comes in close, plants down some mines, and this tank's coming in close as well. Finishes off the tanks. Oh man, F F Flash desperate trying to get some reinforcement, but not gonna be able to save the Tolkock position. Gonna float it off. 
The base is not going to go down, but that's a lot of mining. It's not going to happen for him. Fantasy, meanwhile, going to start expanding at the 9 o'clock position, feeling a little bit safer for himself. Nice transition overall. Also continuing to threaten this natural expo with those vultures acting as spotters. Going to get himself scanned, though. Those also, the commands are in position, so he is going to be forced back. Actually, never mind. He's going to get himself a little bit closer, using still that vulture as a spotter. Flash, meanwhile, finally has mines, and they're on his vultures, so he's actually going to be able to take care of this position finally. Uh, Fantasy still holding for a little while. Managing to pick up some of those mines before they kill this tank, but now finally it's gonna gonna be an end to this attack. So Flash finally gonna be able to get his command search to that to that location. But meanwhile, this is giving Fantasy a great opening to expand the nine o'clock position. Absolute beautiful maneuver. He's gonna start working on his star ports now, on his um, transportation techs. Probably gonna be seeing a transition into dropship play. And Fantasy also. Uh, very good with dropships record. Both of these players in TVT are extremely good at the matchup. Flash might have the superior record with the best TVT record in StarCraft, I believe, at 73%. Uh, his best matchup, well, fa for Fantasy, this is second best matchup, but still at, what, 60 something percent? Definitely high. He's definitely shown himself to be competent in the matchup and has beaten Flash in the past in this, so. I definitely have a hard time calling this because Flash has shown himself to be. Not as powerful in the clutch uh, lately as he, in the last round of Pro League. He showed himself to be not as clutch. He's kind of lost a little bit of his clutch capabilities. We're going to see whether that actually transitions into Star League play or not. Because so far he's been very, very good in in both Star League. So I'm not quite sure whether he's gotten some of that back. But Fantasy Mural has been absolutely hands down magnificent was in Pro League as well as in... Uh, as well as in the MSL, unfortunately, didn't have quite as much success in the OSL, getting knocked out in the round of 16, um, getting one toot in his group, just getting one kind of one yay win. I did commentate one game of that in the OSL where he beat Cal in a matchup that didn't really matter, but right now he does have a pretty nice hold. Um, is getting also that insight in a composition. No, I like the fact, often though, if you see turn players actually getting that in uh, that uh, inside nine instead of the. Uh, main base or the gas base that's protected, but instead Fantasy decided to go for the protected base so he can kind of set up his defensive grid e more easily. But now he's also gotten that inside nine o'clock, which should be up very soon. So he's getting a nice economy going for himself. Looks like Flash, meanwhile, going to be expanding the upper right hand base, going to try to pick up the double gas. Did lose a significant amount of resources at the 12, not mining for a while. Fantasy, meanwhile, let's see, seven factories, I believe, to Flash's five. So he's really. Continuing to work on his vultures, has the science facility up there, starport on the way as well. Going to be continuing to work on his upgrades, and it looks like he's going to try to continue pushing here. Mines at the close there from Flash, but Fantasy trying to come close with vultures. Also has enough tanks to try to engage, scanning off, picking off some of the mines, trying to get in close with his vultures. Flash is reinforcing that though, and has a lot of vultures across the middle. I really don't think that Fantasy is going to be able to take this high ground though because Flash does seem to have a lot of reinforcements just close by, tanks and vultures. So he should actually be able to hold this and take the upper end position, which I believe he's doing, although I'm not quite 100% sure on that if he hasn't already have that base going. Actually, Fantasy at this point has also gotten himself a Wraith. Nice maneuver. Thought he was going to go for dropships, but... Seems like he went for one Wraith before going for his dropships. Uh, this just, you know, lets him... Uh, assassinate a tank or two before CVs get into play there, but so we might actually manage to save that tank. I think he actually, yeah, I think Flash actually is gonna save that tank. But also the Wraith acts as a spotter, so you don't need to waste as many scans. As long as you have it around, you're gonna be able to get some shots off without needing to use uh, use up all your scans. Flash is. Uh, starting to really saturate that upper end position. Fantasy Mill gonna go for an attack here at the natural expansion. Gonna spot a dropship actually flying out there, getting some nice mines off, picking off a tank, gonna try to get him even closer, get some more mines close enough to those tanks, gonna sacrifice some of his old vultures for that cause. Oh! Doesn't do quite the damage he was hoping to, but still keeping up with the pressure. Moving in the tanks as well, has vo defensive mines there at the front, getting self significantly surrounded by Flash's vultures though. And I really don't think he's gonna be able to hold this. I don't see any mines coming down for Flash though, so Fantasy's gonna hold a little bit. But only a few of these tanks. I'm really not sure if he's going to be able to threaten the front because Flash is just going to have defensive forces coming in very quickly. SCV is also coming off the line to engage.